Okay, you guys, don't mind the noise in the background because I have children. <laughs> but um, I am coming, making this video in my half bathroom. And um, when you first walk in my bathroom, it appears that it's clean. I assure you, it is not. So my kids clean the bathrooms around here because I hate doing them. And I'm going to show you how gross this toilet is and uh, the best way to get it clean, really clean. So like looking at it, it actually looks fairly clean, but it's disgusting. So I learned how to do this a few years ago and I don't do this every time I clean, but it probably like once a month, sometimes every other month, depending on the use of the bathroom. Like this half bathroom gets used all the time. Um, my kids think it's their personal bathroom when they're upstairs and I keep telling them they have their own bathrooms, but uh, my kids use it a ton. It's for guests. Um, it's like the number one bathroom in our house. So I do this probably once a month in this bathroom. My bathroom and like my kids' bathrooms, I probably do like every other month because people aren't going into them as much. That's pretty much the bottom line. So on your bathroom, the back here, some of them, like the one in my bathroom, it has a cap that you open and then you can unscrew them and they unscrew it like at the bottom. You have to kind of hold and then unscrew them. Um, this one is one that you just turn kind of a key and then you have to, I'll show you. So we're gonna take this off and you guys, it's so gross, like so, so gross. Okay, so you turn them so they're off and then theoretically it should just pull right off. So there you go. So it came off, like, look, you can't even see how, it's so gross. Do you see all the urine that gets stuck like in here? Um, and I'm gonna show you it close. Like it is seriously, oh, so gross. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Look at how gross, like all around where those clips were is urine that has been sitting there. It's so gross. It's so disgusting. Anyway, but that's why your bathroom still smells. Like even if you've cleaned it, because you still have urine all over. So like this toilet, I haven't even cleaned it yet today, so it's even worse. But like look at all of this in the years, and then my kids always miss right back here. So this will would have normally gotten done. But look at how gross it is inside here. Isn't that disgusting? Okay, so like I said, it's super easy to do. Um, there's the two kinds of, whoops, there's the two kinds of lids. The one that you unscrew and then it will come off, or this one that it simply, you turn them and then it pops off. And you can tell how gross your toilet is by how easy it is to come off. Oh good, my kids have left me with no wipes. So normally I use, wipes, Lysol, or these ones are from Sam's Club wipes, but my kids have put an empty container in here. So the other thing that I will use sometimes is a microfiber cloth. This one is from Norwex. I know Amazon sells some really good ones. Um, and I like these. I am really, I, I, I'm not a big fan of disposable stuff, mostly because I just think that we have a lot of garbage in this world and it's nice to be able to reuse things. So I really like these because I can use them and then just throw them in the wash and they're ready to go the next time. So, and this one, I mean, it's fairly dirty because I've been cleaning this last week with it, but nothing like, I would never clean a toilet and then reuse it. So I think I used it on some kitchen cabinets. So it's ready to go. So just clean all around. Um, and if, if you're having, like if there's spots that are really hard to get, you can use a good bath, bathroom cleaner. So this was one that I actually made up and I will, I gotta remember, I love this one, I gotta look it up, but it is dish soap, um, like Dawn dish soap, like that you clean your dishes with, and vinegar combined. It's a really good one. And the other thing that I really love to use and I will show you because in my toilet bowl, it has some like hard water deposits. I'll show you what I use. So this is like super easy and it makes such a huge difference in the way that your bathroom smells. So I'm gonna do the lid in just a second, but I wanna show you 
um, what I do for the toilet bowl. And I use these, uh, I do use disposable toilet things because I don't really want a nasty brush sitting where someone can touch it. It's kind of gross. So I do use these disposable. So after you scrub, so I usually do like a good scrub all around. And then I flush to see kind of where I missed. And then this is the best thing that I do. So like I said, there's like hard water and I'm gonna show you guys. Just put that in there. So around here, there's like hard water deposits and I have found a pumice stone. So you just get it wet with the water and then rub on those edges that like circle and it will take off that ring. So we have really hard water here. So if I don't do this, it leaves this like, kind of like grayish hard water ring, but the pumice stone takes it right off. So I know lots of people wear gloves. I just will wash my hands afterwards really well. And I'm not dipping my hand in the water. I am just staying right above it and getting that out. But it will, it works wonders, this little pumice stone just on taking that dirty hard water edge off of your thing. And then I just throw it back in my bathroom bucket. Okay, and then I do a second scrub with my brush. Just make sure, get it really good. Okay, and then I usually will just let this sit for, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes before I flush. So. That is kind of the way that I have found to clean the toilet best. Uh, take the seat off, scrub it really good. If it's really nasty, I have even thrown it in the shower before or I'll soak it and then put it back on. This is, it's gross. I might just do that with this one. But um, after a good scrub, it's usually fine. And then you just put it right back on, clip it, good to go. And then it smells good in here and you don't have that lingering pea smell. So hopefully that's helped. I wanna know if anyone else has done this or try this. Is this part of your routine? Let me know. Okay, bye.